Hey, what's up, America? Well, it's official. The housing market is in recession right now, and the American economy is soon to follow. That's right, The Hill is reporting that for the 11th straight month, there has been a decline in house purchases. People are citing the fact that houses are way fucking overvalued and shouldn't cost what they are, but people are paying double the value for shitty homes. Now that interest rates have also raised from 3% to 7.5% to 8%, we're looking at an increase of up to and including $1,000 a month for your average mortgage here in the United States. So what did they offer to fix the problem? You would think producing a lot of cheap single-family homes would alleviate it, but nope, they're not going to produce any single-family homes whatsoever, almost nationwide, meaning the market is going to be totally locked in renters and people who can actually afford it. Because there's no single-family homes being built, you're going to have two options. One is to stay in the single family home you're in if you're lucky enough to have one and pay increasing costs or you can move out of your single family home into a six or eight hundred foot apartment shit box with you and your family and pay pretty much the same prices as you're paying for the single family home now. Further exacerbating that is a 100% prediction that the year 2023 is going to have a total recession for the United States as well as the rest of the Western world. This means if you're a millennial or a Gen Zer and you thought you were going to buy a home, your dreams are going to be fucking dashed because you couldn't buy a home with a million dollars and a fucking map right now. Welcome to the world of recession because it's coming, people.